James McLeod's mother first spotted an odd white spot on his face when he was 18 months old. The mark grew larger over time. He was given a life-altering diagnosis by the physicians, shattering his young confidence. We glance in the mirror every day, trying to make ourselves look as nice as possible by covering up our dark circles and using hairspray to create the ideal hairstyle. Most of us engage in this daily practice because it helps us feel better to look beautiful. The protagonist of today's tale disliked gazing in the mirror because of how he looked. While his classmates bullied him at school, destroying his self-esteem, his mother never missed an opportunity to compliment him. Forty-year-old James McLeod talked openly about his traumatic childhood and the things he did to get over his concerns. When he was 18 months old, a white spot developed on his face, and that was when everything began. His mother became concerned when she saw that the spot became larger over time and took him to the hospital. Her son was diagnosed with vitiligo, a condition that results in some areas of the skin turning white because of a lack of pigment. The spot on McLeod's face increased over time until it eventually encompassed half of his face. When he was a youngster, he didn't give it much thought, but as he got older, he began to wonder what had happened to his face. He was aware that his visage was significantly different from other kids' faces. McLeod recounted, my mom always used to convince me there's nothing wrong with me. She said it was a birthmark or a beauty mark when I was younger. Although he claimed that his mother loved him no matter what, vitiligo was difficult for others to comprehend. People focused on the white area on McLeod's face rather than asking him his name or how he was doing. McLeod's sense of self was severely damaged by their callous questions. He recalled the inquiries he'd received. How did your face change? Were you burned? Are you part of the fire? Before people started pointing out how odd his complexion was, McLeod believed he was like other kids, since his mother never treated him differently because of his appearance. He described, I was nicknamed several things as a kid, including skunk face, zebra face, and cow. McLeod admitted, I felt like an outcast. He'd begun to think there was a problem with him as a result of the ongoing bullying. When his schoolmates kept him out of events because of the white spot on his face, he began to feel as though he didn't belong in this world. Little McLeod's life had been negatively impacted by the harassment and teasing. He was terrified to look in the mirror since he'd come to feel that he didn't look good. He said, I used to believe that the image of myself in the mirror was a monster. McLeod made the decision to alter his life when he was seven years old. When he got home from school, he'd lost the desire to cry or be afraid of other people. He gave himself the mark of approval as he saw himself in the mirror. McLeod confronted the monster while standing in front of the mirror. He began to suddenly feel confident in himself. He'd never felt so comfortable in his own skin before. He was unaware at the moment that thousands would soon begin to follow him. Following that day, McLeod went to school and always smiled at his classmates, which baffled them. He claimed that after witnessing this happiness, they stopped bullying him. They began addressing him by his name instead. Growing up, McLeod became aware that there was no representation for those who had vitiligo, and he made the decision to take action. He claimed he had no idea how to transform the world, despite his desire. He once started an Instagram account with the username that vitiligo guy and posted there. He was unaware at the moment that thousands would soon begin to follow him. People admired the positivity promoting videos he posted online. McLeod stumbled into the possibility to become a motivational speaker while searching for ways to convey positivity. He visited several schools and encouraged students to embrace their identities and treat one another with respect. In addition to giving motivational speeches, McLeod works as a personal trainer, DJ, and author. Additionally, he wrote The Boy Behind the Face, a book in which he told his own tale. McLeod has maintained his modesty despite his fame because he never made him feel different because of his appearance. He thinks his mother is the reason for his success. He said, I was always at my best when she was around. She frequently posed me for photos. My vitiligo was never considered a disability by her. The lesson from McLeod's story is the value of self-confidence and that no one can stop someone from pursuing their goals if they feel good about themselves. In another similar and inspiring story, 
boy with dwarfism weeps over kids mocking him at school, becomes a Hollywood star years later. A dwarf, 11-year-old kid, was bullied at school, and when he got home, he sobbed in front of his mother. She recorded a video of him while she was inconsolable and released it on social media without realizing that it would help her kid land his first Hollywood role. Why do individuals abuse others? People become aware of someone who doesn't look or act like them leads to this unpleasant feeling. Some feel they have the right to make fun of someone just because they have a distinctive quality. They're unaware of the detrimental effects bullying has on people's living. Bullying destroys a person's self-esteem. Some victims, like the youngster in today's story, use their pain as a blessing, unlike many others who get unhappy and give up on life. With his mother's encouragement, the child persevered and eventually made it on the red carpet of his first Hollywood production. Yuraka Bales considered herself fortunate to be the first member of her family to attend college. But things changed when, at age 17, she became pregnant with twin girls. She had to abandon her dreams for a career in favor of raising her children. When she became pregnant with her third kid, 11 years later, it wasn't the same, though. Yuraka was much better off financially and mentally at that time. Nothing had to be sacrificed for her to welcome her baby child into the world. For the following three days, Yuraka's spouse and kids were overjoyed when she gave birth to her son, Caden Bales, at the age of 29. The doctors made a revelation on the fourth day that completely upended Yuraka's universe. She remembered everything fell to the ground. Little Caden was identified as having dwarfism, which would have limited his physical development, but Yuraka refused to believe what the medical professionals had to say. She experienced depression after giving birth to her son rather than joy, and it took her almost two years to recover. The next day, journalists came to her home and her phone started to overflow with calls and messages. When the Murray boy was two and a half years old, Yuraka and her boyfriend split up as a result of her continuing denial about her son's illness. She didn't, however, give up on raising her son. Caden had surgery at a young age for his crushed spine. He currently needs a machine to assist him in breathing when he nods off. Caden strives to live life to the fullest, despite the insurmountable obstacles. He loved playing football and basketball as a kid and wanted to play in the NBA, but Destiny had other ideas. In a heartbreaking video that was released by Yuraka in February 2020, Caden could be seen sobbing and expressing his want to end his life. When Yuraka's kid returned from school, she started filming the video. He claimed that other classmates called him a midget and the distraught mother admitted to seeing a bullying situation. She wished for others to understand how bullying affects victims. Yuraka declared, Because it only takes one more incident, you wonder why youngsters are killing themselves. I ask that you educate your kids, family, and friends. Yuraka had no idea that the video would become instantly popular when she posted it on her Facebook page. The next day, journalists came to her home and her phone started to overflow with calls and messages. She was unable to comprehend what had happened. When Yuraka checked her phone, she saw that Caden's video had won over many viewers. The film, which urged viewers to be friendly to one another, had been shared by individuals all across the world, including celebrities like Hugh Jackman and Jonathan Thurston. Little Caden was called onto the field by the indigenous All-Stars Rugby League team after the audience watched his video and screamed his name. This encounter was like a dream come true for him because of his passion of athletics. Caden had developed a taste for the adoration and consideration he was getting. While the majority of people left supportive messages and prayers for Caden, some people were pleased with his newfound prominence. The fact that individuals had begun giving money to Caden was something they couldn't stand. In their remarks and uploaded videos, they claimed that Yuraka had trained her son to cry. They asserted that it was all staged. With the aid of attorneys, Yuraka was able to have some of the videos removed. She also filed a defamation lawsuit against News Corp columnist Miranda Devine after the latter shared certain tweets that claimed Yuraka and her son were con artists. Caden became an Instagram celebrity as a result of the love and support he received over time. They adored his videos, and they couldn't stop double-tapping on his images. The young actor was unaware that Mad Max director George Miller 
was considering using him in one of his upcoming movies at the time. I watched the video that his mother, Yuraka, posted, just like everyone else. It really impacted me a lot, Miller stated, in reference to the 2020 video that Yuraka shared. He got in touch with Caden shortly after and gave him a part in his movie, 3,000 Years of Longing. On August 28, 2022, Caden appeared on the red carpet for his first Hollywood production in Sydney, Australia. Although he acknowledged being initially anxious, he remarked that working with Miller was an excellent experience. Miller then spoke a few things about Caden. He's going to have a fascinating career, in my opinion. He's incredibly talented. He's an expert in movies. Miller revealed that he'll cast Caden in his upcoming Mad Max film, Furiosa, just when it looked like nothing better could happen to the young child. While Miller claimed that Caden had earned the new position by his diligence, the budding star said, It's unbelievable that I'm in Mad Max. It was my brother who first showed it to me, and it really blew my mind. Some people might find it hard to believe that Caden, who recently earned a role in a Hollywood film, is the same young child who couldn't stop crying when his classmates mistreated him. His story serves as an illustration of how fate can surprise us in unexpected ways.